Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to represent a circle as a vector valued function. So let's do an example. Say we have, uh, let's start off simple, the equation of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 4. And the question is to write this uh, as a vector valued function. So solution. So the main identity we're going to be using is that cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. Also, uh, whenever you have a circle of radius r centered at the origin, you can do this. You can use r cosine t and y equals r sine t. And we can check that this works. So in this case here, r is the square root of 4. So that's 2. And so if you plug in 2, you would get x equals 2 cosine t. And then y equals uh, 2 sine t. And let's check. Let's actually plug it into this equation. So replacing x with 2 cosine t, we would get 2 cosine t squared plus, and then y is 2 sine t. So this is 2 sine t squared. And let's see what happens. Well, we square each piece. So this is 4 cosine squared t plus, and then 4 sine squared t. And then you can pull out the 4. So when you do that, you're left with cosine squared t plus sine squared t. And that's equal to 1, right? That's the identity that everyone knows. So you get 4 times 1, so you just get 4. So it checks. So these make the equation true, so these will work. So uh, whenever you have a circle centered at the origin like this one, uh, you can always just use these equations. All right, so now we can write our answer down. As a vector-valued function, we have r of t. And recall, it's always x of t, i hat, that's your standard unit vector, plus y of t, j hat, that's your other standard unit vector. So our vector-valued function, r of t, is going to be, let's see, x is 2 cosine t, I'll put it in parentheses, so 2 cosine t, i hat, plus, and then y is uh, 2 sine t, and that one is j hat. And that would be the vector valued function. Let's do one more, but let's change the center. So I'll just show you how that works. B, let's do x minus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared equals 16. So we have another circle this time. So the center here uh, is 1, negative 3. That's what the center is here. So the center is 1, negative 3. And the radius here is the square root of 16, so it's 4. All right, solution. So first I'm going to show you how to do it just like kind of like using intuition. And uh, then I'll give you the formula so you can do it that way as well. So we know if the center was 0, 0, it would just be 4 cosine t, 4 sine t. So we know that if we replace this piece here by 4 cosine t, and we replace this piece here by 4 sine t, the same thing that happened above is going to happen here, right? See up here we did it with 2 cosine t and 2 sine t, and we got 4. So here uh, we should get 16. So now what you do is you just take this and set it equal to this. So we have 4 cosine t equals x minus 1. And over here we have 4 sine t equals y plus 3. All right, now we can solve each of these for x and y. So adding 1 to both sides in the first equation, so plus 1 plus 1, we get x equals 1 plus 4 cosine t, and then subtracting 3 from both sides in the second equation, we get y equals negative 3 plus 4 sine t. And so now we can write down our vector valued function. Uh, before I do though, let me point out that there is a formula now. So if the center is hk, you can write this as h plus r cosine t. And over here, you can write this as h plus r sine t. 
So these would be the parametric uh, equations, right? Okay, so we're good. We can write the answer down. So big R or little r of t with our little fancy vector symbol is going to be uh, 1 plus for cosine t, that's our x, i hat, plus the negative 3 plus for sine t, j hat. And that would be uh, our vector valued function. So you can use the formula or, um, oh, that's a k. I'm sorry, it's a k. I always mess up on these. <laughs> so the center here would be hk. So you can use the formula or you can do it this way. I, I like to do it this way. I don't really like to use the formula. This this makes more sense to me, this, this way up here where you just replace uh, the first piece with 4 cosine t and the second piece with 4 sine t because you can convince yourself that it always works and you don't have to memorize uh, the formula. As you can see, I don't have it memorized and I just I thought I wrote down k and I didn't. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.